And our breaking news continues on Maui with this new video revealing the extent of the destruction in Lahaina. After conducting flyovers today, the Maui Fire Department and Civil Air Patrol estimate more than 270 structures have burned. There's no acreage estimate yet, but you can see here the oceanfront town has been reduced to ash and rubble. New drone video shows the fire in North Kihei overnight. Numerous neighborhoods were evacuated, and this fire continues to burn along with the blazes in Kula and Lahaina. Maui County has about 100 firefighters at work on the, around the island, and 20 more from Oahu are on the way to help. Back in Lahaina, this historic oceanside town will never be the same. Look at these before and after photos of the harbor. The surrounding museums, art galleries, restaurants all burn. Some areas still smoldering, and the town and the ocean are darkened with ash. More than 100 National Guard members have been deployed, and more than a dozen helicopters are doing water drops or search and rescue missions. In West Maui, electricity and communications are out, and the county has been busing visitors to the airport. We also have a new casualty count. Maui's mayor says at least six people have died, and about 20 were injured. Those numbers are expected to rise. 4,000 tourists are being flown from Maui to Oahu to spend the night at the convention center, and all all Maui public schools, except for Hana School, will remain closed through Friday. We have live team coverage tonight on Maui and Oahu. We begin with our Chelsea Davis, who took a boat into Lahaina today to see the aftermath. Chelsea, you're hearing some shocking accounts of the tragedy. Yes, exactly, Ke Ahi. You know, seeing those videos come into our newsroom is one thing, but experiencing it firsthand is a completely different story. I can't stress that enough. You know, we've been saying that word unrecognizable over and over, and that is exactly what we mean. I am born and raised on this island, and I don't even recognize Lahaina Town. I didn't even know my way around the streets. Street signs were burned down. I found a, a resident who actually picked me up and took me around and explained to me, this is the old historic Pioneer Inn you're looking at. That is no more. That is completely gone. This is the banyan tree, that banyan tree that we all know and love and we congregate in. That is also went up in flames. I believe you're looking at new video from a gentleman that I met out there in Lahaina today. And he shot this. It is, you can hear those explosions. This is of Lahaina Harbor, of boats up in flames. All the boats at Lahaina Harbor has burnt. There is nothing left there today. These are Brian Sizemore's videos he took early yesterday evening and into the night. And this, I believe you're looking at footage of that historic Pioneer Inn I showed you up in flames. I spoke with that resident who was helping us, showing us around the area. And he said he spent the entire night helping rescue people take a listen and honestly I couldn't even figure out what was going on half the time I never know where I was but I just knew that it had choked smoke and I couldn't tell where I, where I was sometimes and sometimes I could you know it's a short road front street if you guys walk down the street you see it's completely burnt and we just if I saw somebody I helped them this is a nationwide issue at this point yeah we need help a lot of help we got to get people down here. We need, we need funds allocated for fixing our home. We are out here working. You can just hear that emotion in his voice and you can see the stress and the angst in his eyes and the pain in his face. He took me to his home or what's left of his home and showed me around and it is completely burnt to ash and all his residents as well. Um, he, we're actually driving around and he saw his um, a relative in the car and he jumped out of the car and we saw him embrace his uncle and said, uncle, I broke into your house last night. I was trying to save you. I didn't see you there. I'm so, I was so worried. I'm so happy to see that you're alive. So that's the kind of stories that we've been hearing out there. Residents still not sure, not knowing if their loved ones are, have made it out alive. Kiahi, Mahia, back to you folks. Such raw emotion. Chelsea, thank you for that firsthand account. And this video here shows flames consuming the home of Lahaina resident Patrick Grady as he stands there unable to do anything but just watch. His home is just one of the many structures engulfed overnight. I, I got nothing. Everything, uh, I just have my shirt and my hat that you see, my glasses. 
exactly. But um, a, I'm alive. My friends that I know are alive, and you know, it's just, and it's it's a whole community. It's the whole town of Lahaina. And I was raised in Lahaina. I went to school there and everything, and it's all gone. Grady tells us he ended up spending the night at a stranger's house, but then needed to once again be evacuated. And this is new video of the upcountry fire in Kula. The conditions are challenging for fire crews who've been battling flames since early yesterday. The winds are still gusty with no rain up there and firefighting resources are stretched thin. We're told several homes may have burned in that upcountry fire. There are roadblocks keeping people out, but that's not just because of smoke and fire. Our Lynn Kawano continues our team coverage. Still a very touchy situation. I don't know if you can see that chopper with a bucket. It's been making bucket drops back and forth. Several choppers doing it at the same time. We're in Kula, just above Kula Lodge. This is Kula Sandalwoods Cafe and Inn. You can see this fire took structures last night. People are up there trying to salvage what they can, trying to save anything that they can. But you can see how close the fire got to some of these structures and they were saved. Other structures were taken. It looks like it just went with the wind. Very strong winds overnight. Not just fire crews in the air trying to do bucket drops, but you can see this water truck right here. It's also been shooting hot spots just over this rail. The embers were flying overhead. The building was starting to uh, catch fire and they insisted that we leave, not in our own car. They put us in the MPD car and took us to the Hannibal Tavares Community Center for shelter. Our neighbors' properties were, were, um, were on fire too and we, we all supported each other yesterday just trying to put fires out, you know, small hot spots and stuff like that. Back out here at Lower Chemo Drive, you can see from this vantage point that was a house, that was a structure, possibly two homes. It's hard to tell from this angle. Just burned, just devastated, gone. You can still see some areas that are smoking. This was where the water truck was a short time ago. Uh, and other homes as well uh, are gone, burned to the ground. Uh, you know, you can just tell where they were, where these structures were. Now, also, we want to tell people that on this road, there's a lot of debris. We saw a lot of power lines just down crossing the road that you have to drive over uh, to get anywhere. Lots of trees down, lots of people making repairs to their fences as well as their property. A, a lot of devastation out here in Kula. Reporting on Maui, I'm Lynn Kawano, Hawaii News Now. All right. Mahalo, Lynn. Ahead tonight, a live report from Kihei and the latest on visitors stranded on Maui. And go to hawaiinewsnow.com for extended coverage 24-7. We're back after a short break.